With everybody facing restock limits and some challenging inventory woes right now, I decided I would put together a video with some of my favorite tips to combat inventory woes. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Uh, the situation with restock limits really stinks right now. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the only thing that's really in your control right now is fulfilled by merchant. That is the unfortunate news. No amount of ticketing is going to be a guarantee that your restock limits are going to go up. Most of the brands that we work with, including my own, lost 65 to 70 percent of their ability to stock inventory at Amazon. That is their restock limits dropped about 65 to 70 percent. So you need to do a few things to get your inventory in order. The first of which is to create duplicate SKUs. Here is an example of that. This is one of our winning designs from the Halloween season. It was a Halloween's Starbuck 12 ounce tumbler. And in here, uh, if you look at this, this is the same ASIN with two SKUs showing up on that ASIN, one of which is FBM, the other of which is FBA. This is a white hat tactic. Uh, this is a way to keep yourself in stock during these restock woes. And essentially, if you go to the live listing, you'll notice we have two offers in the buy box. On the right hand side, you can see two new from. When you click that, you see two options. One, the ship by Prime, free delivery Monday, November 7th here. The other is fulfilled by Merchant, free delivery November 9th to 10th. Now. You want the FBA listing to win the buy box because it's more convenient. Your, your logistic fees are typically less than what you could pay UPS or the United States Postal Service directly, which is what's beneficial there. In addition to that, uh, you can get Prime, which is three times the number of conversions typically. So that's why everybody's rushing to FBA. Having said that, with restock limitations, you're going to run out of stock on some SKUs this Christmas Q4 rush. As bad as the economy is, there are still going to be people buying product on Amazon and it behooves you to stay in stock. Well, if your restock limits are at their limits, that means some of your runners are going to run away from you. So what you need to do is duplicate the SKU. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you see an ASIN like this. Uh, there's two ways you could do this. There's usually more than one way when you do Amazon techniques and catalog work and merchandising and all sorts of things. Um, way number one would be to do a template upload. You could download your CLR report, and then that is basically done by going into your reporting system. They keep moving this around, but right now it's under reports, inventory reports. And in here, you can download the category listings all report. And uh, this is that right there. And when you click into that, you'll notice it's in beta. If you don't have access to this, if you don't see this on your screen when you go over here, all you got to do is send a ticket into Amazon. Um, just simply go click that help button right now. Hit get support and contact the catalog team and just request, hey, can I get access to the category listings all report on the inventory reports tab? You can even post the URL and the ticket to get access to help them understand what you're talking about. In here, you could simply download this and then inside of the template, just um, take the data that's on the original SKU, duplicate it to another line, add a suffix like I did, so you can see what the outcome is gonna look like right here. So I added the suffix FBM or FBA, and then reload that same exact data. And you do that by going um, back to inventory, uh, and then actually I think it's put it under catalog now. Yep, catalog, add products via upload, and in here, uh, click on the upload your spreadsheets and browse the file and simply upload it there. Now, there are obviously two changes you need to make. Change number one is to uh, change the SKU and change number two is to change the fulfillment method. So instead of it being Amazon underscore NA, it's gonna be merchant fulfilled. So that is kind of the more complex but scalable way if you need to do this on multiple products, I do recommend the templates. Now, if you just wanna try this out manually, this is how you would do it. You'd come in here, um, you'd grab this ASIN and from here, there's two ways you could do this manually. Number one, you could select the drop down like this and, and simply hit um, copy listing. Let's see where they put that. Close listing, match, change. Nope, I don't even actually see it. I don't know why they might have moved that. Let's go to the drop down on the far right here. Here we go, copy listing. So it's not in the drop down, it's, it's over on, uh, well, I guess it's still a drop down, just the right drop down, and hit copy listing like this. And then in here, it's gonna pull up all the same data 
you um, you can you can put the same uh, ASIN in here, no problem. Yes, this is my products. And then in here, you can put in a custom uh, SKU. So just like I did with this, copy and paste that over here. Uh, and I'll put the number two since I've already done one of those. Put the quantity in, you can put that at 100, whatever you want, put the same price in and you get the idea from here. It's basically like listing a normal product, but instead of having your FBA, you're gonna have your FBM one like that and hit save, boom, you're online. You have duplicated a SKU, no problem. So that would be one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is by hitting add a products like this, typing in the ASIN, hitting sell condition new, sell this product, brings up the same exact screen and filling out the same information like we just did. So there's always a couple different ways you can do something inside of Amazon. So I show both, choose which one ever, both are safe, both are fine, nothing wrong with either one of them. Um, this is the way that I just showed the last way is the way that's existed longer. So like the copy listing button, I don't think it's been up forever. Um, so I, I often default to the, the one that's been around the longest just out of pure habit. Okay, so now that you've got that concept down, you've got the multiple um, products under the same ASIN. The next thing I think you need to learn how to do, um, and this is how it's going to look once you know you've done it correctly. You can see this one's got FBA stock. This one's got FBM stock. That's how you know it's correct. So after you've done that though, this is another tip using a different technique. So maybe you already have FBM up, um, but how about running some alerts? So this is a tip that I'm very surprised that lots of sellers who've been around 10 years have not done this and it blows my mind. Like I don't understand how people are doing shipments right now without this. And what you can do is I'm gonna select just like three products like this. And on the dropdown, we're gonna hit set replenishment alerts. If you've never done this before, this is such a game changer. I cannot uh, show how important this is. Um, but essentially, once you go into the set replenishment alert system here, you can set either weeks of coverage or unit counts. I personally prefer the weeks of coverage angle. I'm gonna move my camera up here, probably over to the left side right there. And that way you can see on the right-hand side of my screen. And in, in any case, uh, what we're looking at here is the alert threshold. And when you set it to six weeks, basically you're gonna get an email. That email will show you the SKUs and the fact they're under six weeks in coverage, which then prompts you to go create a shipment. I recommend uh, shipping a four week supply when you hit the six weeks threshold. Uh, in the past, prior to the pandemic, I would have gone for a 90 day run rate, but right now I think 60 is the right way to go, especially with restock limitations. So when you're at six weeks, you create a four week shipment. And essentially what you would do is you would go over to your business reports and look at the last 30 days in sales. So before we do that though, let me show you what these alerts actually look like. So this is the email I got just about an hour ago and here are the three things that it's telling me I'm low on stock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go in and look at each one of these so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So here is a cup. This is one of our Halloween cups, the Just Hocus Pocus cups. So I'll show you the live listing so you get some little bit of perspective there. Um, so we had another successful product here going in the Tumblr Halloween season. So cool, I have under a six week cover. Now this is uh, a product that probably is not gonna sell as much post Halloween, but you'll be surprised when you look at the data here, still sold 19 of these last seven days post Halloween. So I do need to replenish this. I'm under a six week supply. I've got 64 at FBA, sold 19 in the last seven days. That's like a three week supply. Um, so these things are moving. One of the first things I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna scroll down and kind of look at the last shipment. The last shipment was created on the 24th of October, 100 ship, 100 receive. It still has a receiving status. Uh, so you can see that right there. Uh, but I know that I'm not gonna be comfortable sitting in November at 64 units. I know I'm gonna sell more of these. The Hocus Pocus movement, even though it's November at this point, still gonna be moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create a shipment and try and get more of these into the system. So a uh, couple of ways you can create shipments. I'll just go to the FBA listing, send and replenish. Oop, I clicked the alerts button. I meant to click the actual click shipment button. Uh, so let's go back, click on send and replenish inventory, just like this. And from here, we can go in and create a shipment, show the case pack and how many units are in it, how many boxes. So we're gonna probably ship in two, hit ready to send. 
and then it'll give me the estimate on the amount of cost. They did just change this module. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the way to ship into Amazon, we do have a logistics certification course, which will run you through each step of how to ship. Just go over to mag-school.com and click on this. It's only 10 bucks, 10 bucks and you're gonna learn how to do all of these modules. Uh, and it will also give you a certificate so you can prove you know how to do it. So if you got an employee that's creating your shipments and you're just not 100% sure they know how to do it, enroll it on their behalf, that'll help them out. But in any case, finish up your shipment and you're off to the races. Uh, so I know that I probably wanna ship um, a 30 day supply. So how do you determine how much to ship? Here, now we're gonna go over to business reports now. So we're gonna go to reports, business reports like this, and we're gonna go to sale by ASIN. Uh, and we can see all of the different sales and do that. Another way you could do this, uh, this is actually probably the better way. So let's go back to the inventory page and we're gonna go click on the SKU itself. So just like this. Um, the, one, the one thing that sometimes throws people off though is that um, on the mobile app, as well as um, the desktop, when you click on the SKU, do you see how there's different numbers here at the SKU level? Do you see how these, uh, are different. So it's going to throw you off. You're like, well, why would Amazon build a system like that? Why would they show me SKU level data instead of ASIN level data? And the answer is, I don't know. They're idiots. Amazon is a total incompetent <laughs> platform. They don't think about this. Like, okay, but, but guess what? Guess what? Here is a little button. Click on the ASIN button and boom. Uh, they're not actually that bad. They're not actually that stupid. We just didn't know that there's a little tab here and it's not super obvious, but if you click it, you can flip and see, okay, here's all my accumulative ASIN sales. So I know in the last 30 days, I've sold 131 of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shipment for another 130 of these. And problem solved, we have enough inventory on the way. And essentially what you would do next, go back through that FBA replenishment alerts and rerun the same play for the next ASINs that show up. You'll get this email once a day and it makes it really simple. Uh, you never have to, wake up from a cold sweat in the middle of a dream. Did I forget to stock something? Did I violate the number one rule of Amazon? I went out of stock, right? Or the number two of Amazon, which is seriously never go out of stock. It's really bad. Now, so you got restock limit complications. You now know you need to duplicate your SKU. You now know how to set up replenishment alerts. And you now know the strategy of using those replenishment alerts to try and keep your stock in stock. And if you can't ship stuff in because those restock limits are a bitch, you just need to ship FBM and activate that. Make sure you have a warehouse. Make sure you got um, your own 3PL solution in place. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. I've got tons of tips like this. Slam that subscribe button. I've got more than 1,200 videos on the web talking about all of these different things. Um, some services that we offer you may or may not be aware of. We sell trademarks, search engine optimization, PPC management, brand stores, A plus content. Some of these are available a la carte. Some of these services, you do need to be a full service member of my Amazon guy and hire our agency. And if you wanna check us out, just go over to myamazonguy.com uh, and we'll happily see how we can add value. One of the really cool things that we do at no cost to you is we look at your listings. All you gotta do is go to myamazonguy.com slash ASIN, that's A-S-I-N, and fill this out. And we will do a five minute tutorial video customize on your specific product and tell you how to level up the marketing. We're gonna look at your keywords, we're gonna look at your designs, whether you know, know and understand how to convert your customer avatar and show you what you're missing. No cost to you, just go to myamazonguy.com slash ASIN and we look forward to serving you and adding as much value as we possibly can. Leave your questions in the comments section on and share any other tips that you think we need to shoot videos on. It's my pleasure, we'll see you guys later.